Hello. I'm going to talk about angular momentum. And that's using um, L. Okay. So L is angular momentum. So that's define us. So let's compare. Let's compare the linear case, linear momentum, and the angular momentum. Okay. So this is symbol. So this one is small p, linear momentum. And this one is capital L, okay? And the unit, this one is kg. So this is mv, right? And this one is equal to i, moment of inertia, times angular omega, angular velocity. So this one here, it's unit is kg meter per second. And this one here is kg and meter square and then per second. So the radian is here, but you don't need to write it. Okay. So both are vector, right? So both, both of them are vector. So this are vector and that's a vector too. All right. And this one here, the conservation, so this is unit, and this is the conservation. So this one is conserved when the net force is equal to zero. And this one's conserved when the net torque is equal to zero. Okay, all right, so that's, uh, that's, uh, Go on. And so, as we say, let's change color. So L, which is angular momentum or rotational momentum. So you can call it rotational momentum. Okay. So as you can see, for the mass, in the angular case, this is called I, right? So this is, this is like the M, right? The mass, it's for linear. Uh, but I is for rotational, right? So M, mass is for linear, but I is for rotational. Okay. All right, so we're using I, right? So let's write this one here at the same time. So we have M, right? For linear case, we write M, but for rotational case, we write I. And for linear case, we write linear velocity, and rotational case, we write angular velocity. Okay, so that's the, that's the uh, comparison here. So this is equal to, uh, this is equal to um, delta tau, delta t, okay? And this one here is equal to delta f. Oh, sorry, I, I have it, you know, I have it all. Yeah. No, right there, I'm gonna stop there. All right, and let me clear that. Be careful with that. So, we know uh, f is equal to delta p, delta t, okay? And so torque is equal to delta L over delta T, right? Okay? And so this one here, we have delta M and V and delta T. And if M is constant, the M comes out, then you have delta V, delta T, which is then M times A, right? So that go back to the Newton's second law. And this one here is delta I, omega and delta t. When the i is constant, then the i can come up, right? Okay, so be careful with i. We'll talk about more about that i here. But if the i is constant, the i comes out. And delta omega delta t is equal to alpha. So i times alpha, right? 
okay so it's a it's right here that's uh let's just uh, compare right this is a linear case and this is a rotational case okay so you can see f is let me uh, circle them so f it's equal to ma right linear case rotational case tau is equal to i alpha all right okay all right, i'm going to clear that and now let's uh go to conservation of momentum right so conservation of momentum of angular momentum Okay, so when delta tau, no, sorry, when tau, right, net is equal to zero, then L, right, so the delta L uh, will be uh, zero, okay? And just like when F, right, net force is equal to zero, then the delta P is equal to zero, okay? All right, so in this one here, we write, we write, p is equal to p prime right and then here we can also write this is m1 if you have two mass right two mass and collision m1 v1 plus m2 v2 which is equal to this one here let's say if you have your your system is equal to m1 and m2 right so then you have this one m1 v1 prime plus m2 v2 prime okay so for this one here let me change the color here this one here you say l is equal to l prime okay and so it depends on how many how many uh you know who is the system right so the system okay so a lot of times this system could be just just one one okay so then this one will be i omega is equal to i so this is i1 omega one so let's call this one, uh, no, this is called the I omega is equal to I prime omega prime, okay? So in the angular rotation case, sometimes the I can change, okay? So when we say the angular momentum is conserved, so L before is equal to L after. So L before is I omega, and L after is I prime omega prime, okay? So that's the version of angular momentum conservation that we're going to uh, work with. So let's give an example, right? Let's say if you have an uh, ice skater, okay? Let's say you got your hands out and, you know, kind of like that, right? And so you have your eye and then you're spinning, right? You're spinning, you have your omega. And later you uh, make yourself, you know, looks like, you know, you kind of, make yourself very skinny, right? You fold your arm, like you can fold your arm in and get your body in, right? So now your I prime, so this is your axis still, right? So this is the omega prime now, omega prime, right? So your I prime compared to I, I prime, let's say the I prime is equal to I divided by two, okay? And this is I, let's say the I is equal to one kg meter square. And this one here is equal to 0 0.5 kg meter square okay and since the the torque net torque on this person right the system is the person is this person right just one right just one person okay and this is on the ice right this is on the ice so then tau net torque is equal to zero so uh conservation of angular momentum so l is equal to l prime right so this is before and this is after right so then we can say i omega which is before is equal to i prime omega prime so then you can figure out what is the omega prime omega prime is equal to uh, let's say omega is equal to one radian per second here okay so then this one here is equal to i divided by i prime and then times omega, which is equal to uh, I is equal to one, I prime is equal to 0 0.5, and omega is equal to one. So then that's equal to two radian per second. 
So you can see omega prime now spin faster now. So this is equal to two times of, right, of the original omega, which is equal to two radian per second. All right, so you can, you can see how interesting the uh, conservation of angular momentum can be, all right? So we're gonna stop there, and hopefully you are uh, learning more about angular momentum.